Welcome back to the Hunter Call of the Wild with Lady Legend. In today's video, we're gonna head out to Leighton Lakes, do a little trophy hunting. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. If you haven't done so yet, please hit that subscribe button and make sure to never miss another video. Let's get started. Okay, so I'm down here on Belmont Lake and elk drink from 5 to 9 or 9.30 a.m. and p.m. And Belmont Lake is an awesome hotspot for all kinds of different species. I highly recommend that you hunt there. I have killed diamond whitetail, blacktail, elk, moose, you name it, I've killed it there. It's a great lake. And I just wanted to take a quick sec and wish my awesome husband a happy birthday. His birthday was yesterday. And I know I haven't talked a whole lot about myself, but these are my three babies. Yes, I am a gamer mom. <laughs> and uh, yeah, they're my whole wide world, Caitlin, Lauren, and Daniel. And uh, just in case you guys don't know, I am Canadian. Okay, so I am actually on the Calburn River Run, and this is my absolute favorite place to hunt on Leighton, and we're finding whitetail here in their feed zone. 5 to 9, or 9.30. And 15 to 21 or 2130. And here we have a really nice level two white tail gold with a trophy of 214. And this is an amazing spot. This is the Runaki Western Outpost. And this is an amazing spot. If you come here from five to nine, you're gonna find elk drinking, you're gonna find black tail, you're always gonna find a million ducks. This is my number one spot for duck hunting. I have killed so many diamond mallards off this lake. It's the best spot on the map for sure. So there we go, black tail drink from five to nine or 9.30 a.m. and p.m. I am gonna show you different times as we see animals on the map because time is so, so important to this game. Knowing what your animals are doing at every hour basically is so important so that you can find them and hunt them. And uh, yeah, so I do have all of the zone times for every species of every reserve on my Discord. The link is below. Just make yourself really familiar with their zone times. So I'm gonna keep popping those up on my videos so you guys can learn them because they are that important. So we have a black tail drinking here, just a level three. Thought we'd pop him, yep, that one's good. There's just so much to shoot at going around this lake. And I am going to do another video, but this is the absolute best spot to hunt for black bears in their drink zone in the evening. So I will do a video on that sometime in the near future, but yeah, this is a great lake. So we found a pretty nice elk over here. He's in the max weight range. We're gonna take a long shot on him. Uh, I did not get a vital. We're gonna have to try again. Gonna have to try and get, oh. Let's see. Yep, looks good. We got him the second time. And after two shots, if you mess them both up, your trophy will be dropped down a level. So you're gonna go from gold to silver and so on. So you want to try and take no more than two shots on any given animal. Look at all the animals here. It's just, there's just so many animals here. <laughs> Which is so unusual for Leighton Lakes. It's been pretty sparse lately. And here we have a gold black tail, level four. Trophy a 144.2. And we managed a right lung shot from over 300 meters. And here's that pretty little girl. We have a piebald elk. Very nice. We're gonna throw her in the lodge. She'd be nicer with a big rack on her, but I'll take her nonetheless. <laughs> Another nice level four black tail. Let me go for a little shot. Looks good. And here's that elk. Had to take two shots on this guy, so let's see how we did. We have a gold. Trophy rating a 330.5. And even on the second shot, just got liver, so we got lucky. But I love his rack. Look at his wonky rack. That is a cool looking elk. Very, very widely spread. That's one for the trophy lodge, that's neat. 
And another gold block tail, 150.7. And was that the little lakes on the right? Love hunting those little lakes for elk, black tail, and white tail, and for ducks. And found this level three duck. Now you'll find ducks swimming at any time during the day. They do have need zones, so I have actually noticed that if I spook a duck out, on my own map, and this has happened, I have tested this, if I spook it out, if I change the time and come back to that lake, that duck will be there again. <laughs> so I thought that was very interesting. So yes, they do come back to their need zones. We're using the 22. Again, I like to take a very exact shot with ducks being so, so tiny. I thought since this guy didn't spook, I would shoot him too. Why not? <laughs> And there we go, really nice diamond. Level three mallard, trophy rating of 20. And this guy, I think I just got lucky. <laughs> He's a brown hybrid, so that's very cool. I just shot him because he didn't fly away, so I guess that was his bad. Another max weight range elk. These guys, you wanna get them all off your map because the respawns could possibly be diamond and that's what we're looking for. Rare. Well, that took care of him. <laughs> yeah. Gotta love the elk. I'm so happy that they are fixed and scoring diamond again. Took him with a really nice heart shot. He has a trophy of 306.4. He's not bad. 444 kilograms. So here I am back up in Calburn kind of in between Calburn and High Lake. Moose feed up here. There are piles of moose up here, five to nine or 9.30 a.m. or p.m. And I found a big old level five moose. Now, of course, with my luck, I've been getting a lot of trolls lately, but moose are broken. Most of them, even when they should be diamond, are not scoring diamond. But gosh, that guy is beautiful. And uh, yeah, he's got to die regardless. So I think I'm going to try. My wind is perfect. So I'm going to try and get up close and take him with the bow. That would be awesome. Let's do that. Man, I just love level five moose. They are just so oh, amazing. Look at them. They're just so huge. And I don't know. They're just amazing. <laughs> I could just sit here and look at that guy. Of course, he'd be nicer with a big diamond rating on him, but it's okay. Let's go get him anyway. So I am creeping. I am getting up. I did go a little bit prone. What I'm doing is I'm keeping my eyes on, well, it would be the big level five, but I can't spot him. So I'm keeping my eyes on the female and I'm watching her for her to change from calm to alert or <laughs> hopefully not alarmed. That's I'm basically watching her so I can tell when she becomes aware that I'm here because if she becomes aware, he has a much higher AI, artificial intelligence, being a top level animal. He is going to spook before she does. Absolutely. But I can't spot him. So I'm trying to gauge how he's feeling by looking at her. Because really, I really, getting this close, I do not want to spook them. That's my number one fear. I would not even consider trying to get this close if I had any part of a bad wind. Just want to get up as close as I can without alarming them. This is when your heart starts to race a little. Oh my God, look at him. Oh, look at him. You don't see that every day. All right. She's just gonna get out of our way. Thank you. All right. Feeling a little nervous. Gonna line up my shot again. This is an awesome bow. Using the 600 green arrows. Hopefully that is good. 
Thought I'd take a little swim at the same time. <laughs> yeah, we have a big vital blood splatter. Let's go have a look. And he's landing with one paddle up. He's a beauty. Look at the size of him. And this is where I found him. You know I love the Calburn run. <laughs> that little spot up there, covered in moose. All kinds of moose. Unfortunately, I did not expect him to be a diamond. He is a gold. Uh, moose are bugged. They are not scoring diamond. Not, not at all, but most of them that should be diamond are not. So I don't feel too bad. I do feel blessed to have found this guy. He's got a trophy at 277.4. And being 595.45 kilograms, I do think he should probably be a diamond, but that's okay. Pretty happy to have found him. And these are some hot spots that we visited today. These are all round great spots when you go there during all different times of the day. Please do pay attention to your feed and drink zones so you know what your animals are doing. It just makes life much easier for you. All the little lakes on the right, those are great for blacktail, whitetail, elk, those are great lakes to hit. Thank you so much for being here today, guys. That just about wraps up our video. Please remember to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you all soon. You take care.